Hello crochet friends! Welcome back to Crazy Cool Crochet and today we're going to be working on this amazing crochet pillow cover using what might be called the expanded bead stitch or extended bead stitch or a modified bead stitch whatever you call it this is in my opinion a much much more beautiful version of a bead stitch than the plain old bead stitch the bead portion of the stitch like the little clusters but it's more it's thicker it's more substantial and then the stitches around it are much prettier than just a plain old bead stitch so for this I'm going to be using a number four yarn medium weight I love this yarn and this particular color is burnt pumpkin and H or a five millimeter hook crochet hook the yarn needle and some scissors now the tutorial is for an 18 by 18 pillow which is very typical for a decorative pillow let's go ahead and get started now we will be working in multiple of five plus two so for the 18 by 18 pillow I'm going to chain 57 so that's the 55 which is a multiple of five plus two more then we are going to work half doubles in each chain starting in the third chain from the hook do not count the loop on the hook there's one two three half double in that third chain and then half double in each chain across now this is not a beginner pattern so I'm not going to be going particularly slowly you should know your stitches okay so half double crochet in each chain at the end of that first row chain four and turn now we're going to work three triple crochets in the first three stitches and you do start in that very first stitch triple crochet yarn over twice pull through the first two pull through the next two pull through the last two and one more so one, two, three. Now we are going to be working around those three triple crochets. Yarn over, go around and behind the three triples. Pull the yarn through, pull it up. You're going to do that a total of five times. So that was one. two, three, I missed that one, four, and five. Now in the very next space, insert the hook, pull up the yarn, and now we're going to close up all these loops. So bring the yarn through that first loop, and then bring it through all the loops on the hook. Now in the next space, insert the hook again, pull up the yarn, and now do three chains. One, two, three. Now pull the yarn through the two loops on the hook. And now we will once again do three triple crochets across the next three stitches. So in the next stitch, the triple, one, two, three. In the next one, another triple. And in the next chain, another triple. Now you're going to work around those three triples. 
Do not work around the post. The post will stand alone. One, two, three, four, and five. So now we need to close those up, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull up the loop, now pull through that single loop and through all the loops on the hook. Now in the next space, pull the yarn through and then do your three chains. One, two, three, and I'll pull through both loops on the hook. And there you go. That's the pattern. Okay, so now in the next three spaces, work a triple in each one. Now you're going to work around those three triples and leave that post alone. And that's your pattern. So work that all the way across the row. When you come to the end of the row, you've already closed up those five stitches. You've got one more stitch left. So now we're going to do that last chain three. So insert your hook, pull up the loop, and now chain three. And now pull through those last two. Now chain one and turn. How gorgeous is that? So now you're going to do a row of half double crochets starting in the very first space. And then in each stitch across. Okay, so under the two strands, whoops. Half double. Under the next two, half double. Of course, you're going into the next space, the next stitch. When I say under the next two, I mean the two strands that make up that chain at the top. And then go into that space. And keep going across. At the end of the row, you would have done your 55th, 55, half double into the turning chain. Now you're going to chain four, turn, and now repeat the bead row. So you will start with the triple into that first space. And then two more in each of the next two spaces. And now do your bead around the three triples and continue the pattern. And that will be your pattern. You will be repeating the bead row and then the half double crochet row all the way up. And I wanted to give credit. I learned this from Siren's Crochet. 
Here is the completed front panel. And for the 18 by 18, this took 12 rows, the beaded rows, 12 of the beaded rows. And we end with the half double crochet row. Okay, so we started with the half double crochet row and we end with a half double crochet row. Now, if you want to do a 16 by 16, remember we're using multiples of five plus two. So for the 16 by 16, you can do, you can start with a chain of 52 and then work 11 of the bead rows. Okay, so notice I'm not counting the half double crochet rows in the row count. Now it's time to put the panels together. I want to make note, however, that although this is the right side facing up, and there's the tail from the beginning foundation chain that indicates this is the right side. This is one of those rare projects where the wrong side actually looks better than the right side. So I'm going to use the wrong side, technically speaking, as my right side. Okay, so if you notice, we've got all these strands here that are going in like a diagonal. So we flip it over. And on the wrong side, you don't have that going on. It's nice, clean beads. So I'm using the wrong side for my right side. Now we're going to make a back panel. So for the back panel, I decided to just use straight half double crochets because there's already so much going on on the front panel. The back can just be plain. Okay, so for the back panel, I ended up starting with a foundation chain of 53. And then I did my first half double in the third chain from the hook. Remember, you don't count the loop on the hook. So starting the, the half double on the third chain, and then a half double in each chain across, you come up with 51 half double crochets. At the end of that first row, and each row thereafter, chain two, turn, and do a half double crochet in each space for 51 again. And that's your entire pattern for the entire panel. And for my 18 by 18, it took 40 rows. And for a 16 by 16, you can do 38 rows. And then we will seam the two panels together. Now for seaming the edges, we're going to have right sides together and we are seaming on the wrong side. Now again, I'm not going to go through the entire step-by-step -step on that, okay? Other than to say, do your three edges and then leave one edge open to, you know, flip this inside out, insert the pillow, and then seam the remaining edge. And it's okay to seam on the right side, that it won't show. Okay, so I just use, real quickly here, the yarn needle in the length of yarn and insert under two strands on each panel and then I use a whip stitch so I'm just going around and around okay so you come through here back over I'm doing this just real quick and messy here <laughs> and then you know back over this way around and around and that's it here is the completed pillow I just love this color especially for fall. As you can see in the background, I've got my pumpkin garland. You can see it just a little bit, but I'll go ahead and leave a link in the white space below where you can see the tutorial for that pumpkin garland, which is also so much fun and really fast. By the way, this pillow I thought was going to be a horrible yarn eater, and it wasn't. It only took about one and three quarters of another skein, one and a half skeins, so just a regular size skein as you saw at the beginning. But I'll have all that detail in the description area again below. I always have the materials list down there along with any other pertinent information, my social media links. So I hope you like this. It's such a unique, beautiful stitch. Please be sure to Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.